Dodson! Dodson! We've got Dodson here! Dr. Lewis Dodson was one of Biasin's best scientists. In 1993, he went to Costa Rica to meet with a corrupt Indian worker named Dennis Nedry. Nedry would steal Indian's dinosaur embryos in exchange for one and a half million dollars. Dodson gave him half of the payment and a modified Barbazo can Nedry would use to house the precious commodity. However, Nedry fell victim of the Isla Nublar incident and the samples he stole were never delivered to Biasin. By 2016, Dodson rose through Biasin's ranks, becoming the company's head of research. Biasin sent him to Isla Nublar, where Manticore was capturing dinosaurs to test their mind control chips. Dodson explained to Dr. May Turner that Biasin invested a lot in dinosaurs and ended up looking like fools after the fall of Jurassic World. They needed to prove to the world that dinosaurs are not a bad investment. Dodson gave Manticore a list of dinosaurs he wanted, a Dimorphodon, a Carnotaurus, a herbivore of some kind, and a Velociraptor. During his expedition on Isla Nublar, Dodson finds the Barbasso can he gave Nedry 23 years ago. He is briefly attacked by a pack of the Lophosaurus, whom Daniel Kahn scares off using a flare. The group manages to capture a Dimorphodon and a Baryonyx. Dodson makes a deal with Daniel Kahn. Biasin would double the payment if Manticore manages to deliver the assets and the mind control chips in two weeks instead of three. Unfortunately for Dodson, Kenji Khan, Daniel's son, and his friends foiled his plans by setting the dinosaurs free. Daniel Khan would later be arrested and the mind control chips were never delivered. Dodson and Biasin failed again. Dodson's plans eventually succeeded. By 2022, he became Biasin's CEO. At that time, Biasin became the world's leading genetic company. Dodson still held a grudge against Injun and Mazrani. He warmly welcomed doctors Ellie Sadler and Alan Grant to Biasin's research compound after being invited there by Dr. Ian Malcolm, who worked for Biasin as a consultant. That same day, he met with Henry Wu, whom he hired to create a genetically modified species of giant locust to attack crops whose seeds were not produced by Biasin. Wu was concerned for the locust growing population and failure to die off and was growing frustrated with Dodson's lack of morality. Dodson assured him they would fix the problem after studying Maisie Lockwood, the first human clone, and Beta, a baby velociraptor born asexually due to her mother, Blue, having monitored lizard DNA. Dodson was irritated by Wu's actions. He showed Maisie classified information regarding her mother, Charlotte Lockwood, an Indian colleague of his. Maisie and Beta eventually escape the laboratory, prompting Dodson to search for them. He discovers Alan and Ellie stole evidence about his involvement in the locust crisis and escaped in a Hyperloop train. He shuts down the train, trapping them in the Ember Mine Caves. At the same time, Owen Grady and Claire Deering, Maisie's adopted parents, reach the sanctuary via airplane. Dodson orders the aerial deterrent system be shut down, allowing the pterosaurs to attack their plane. Dodson ordered his scientists to burn the locust to cover up his involvement in the incident, but the animals escaped the laboratory, causing a forest fire around the valley. Malcolm confronts him for his bioterrorist actions and convinces the rest of Biasin's personnel to turn on Dodson. As the Biasin staff evacuates and rescues the dinosaurs, Dodson prepares to make a getaway and starts anew with Ramsey Cole and the old Barbasol can presumably containing embryos in a case of an emergency where Dodson needed to start over. However, Ramsey, the true spy in his ranks, reveals that he was the one who gave Malcolm the information on Dodson's misdeeds and had grown disgusted with Dodson and his methods. Dodson used the Hyperloop to attempt an escape, only for it to break down when Claire and Ellie deactivated the primary systems. Exiting the train, Dodson tries to run down the tunnel, only to run into a group of Dilophosaurus, causing him to drop the Barbasol can and his belongings. He tries to hide in the Hyperloop car, but the Dilophosaurus sneaks in. Lewis Dodson meets the same fate as his former spy Dennis Nedry nearly 30 years before. The Dilophosaurus bombards Dodson with their paralyzing venom and maul him to death. 